Hey everybody, it's been a long time since I've made a video. This is Troy from the Do-It-Yourself World Electronics. I have discovered something interesting here. I have a capacitor sitting on my desk and its voltage is rising. Now, there's nothing connected to this capacitor except the voltmeter. I have the wires here, forgive my messy office area. There's the wires. Make sure I don't short them together. And the capacitor sitting here. And the voltage is rising. Now I um, had this up to 5.3 volts earlier and then I accidentally shorted the leads together and it started charging really fast after that. And I'm going to do that in a second here to show you. But what's charging this I believe is something I recently learned. Um, a lot of people know that a capacitor also has resistance and uh, magnetism. Any electronic device with energy going through it will have a magnetic um, effect or a magnetic um, component to it as well as some resistance. So the opposite is also true. Magnetism can affect a capacitor. At least that's what I'm learning. I have here my Bedini motor going, hooked up to a whole mess of batteries. I'm restoring a bunch of batteries over here. Uh, to date, I've only used a Bedini motor to restore lead-acid batteries. I am experimenting with lithium batteries. Very, very, very low and gentle pulsing so it's not going to do anything. I've had this up here for months on and off playing with it. I'm not really doing a lot with these but they are there and uh, no harm done. I've got a bunch of lead acid batteries. There's some um, 6 volts wired together in uh, sets of 12 volts. I've got my electric motor scooter batteries here being restored. Anyway, that is the primary use of my Bedini motor, but I was checking a capacitor here, over here, eh, three feet away, and it started gaining in voltage. The voltage started rising, just sitting on my table. Now, nothing else here is on. Nothing else here is turned on except for my little USB charging system. So it, it could be inductive charging from something else if there was anything else powered up here. But the only thing right now on my desk powered up is the Bedini motor. Let me get a tripod so I can show you this better. Now I'm going to disconnect. We're at 1.555. I'm going to disconnect the meter. Now there's nothing connected to that capacitor for now. So we're at 1.555 volts. And I am going to experimentally, I hope I don't short these leads. I think I'm going to tape one of the leads on here so I don't short them out accidentally when I don't want to. I'm going to experimentally um, let this sit here a minute. And I want to take a dead AA battery and see if I can pop that capacitor across the battery uh, once I get above 1.5 volts and see if I can charge that little battery. Wouldn't that be cool? So... I am going to get some tape. I'm going to leave the camera running if I can find some tape in here. I don't think I can find any tape up here. I think it's all downstairs. Well, I want to leave the camera running because I want to show you that that's charging in thin air. Yeah, I think all my tape is downstairs. That's not efficient. trying to perform an experiment and not having what I need here but this was spontaneous this was not planned actually and this wasn't really a planned video since I haven't made a video in so long so um, let's just check it's been a couple seconds it was 1.555 I'm gonna try to wrap this lead so it doesn't get it can't short on there anymore I have just looped it over something else this should be higher according to my um, what I've seen this morning so far. Uh, 1.564. So 
So absolutely, it's not the voltmeter charging 1.564. It's not the meter charging the capacitor. Uh, which I thought, is that even possible? I can't imagine. Um, so I have experimented with the the voltmeter connected or disconnected. And absolutely, that capacitor is charging up um, seemingly out of thin air just from being near the Bedini motor, which sort of freaks me out a little bit because I have a lot of um, lithium-ion batteries over here. And I also have some capacitors over on the other side of the workbench uh, within three, four feet of the Bedini motor. And I have heard somewhere that lithium ions can possibly also charge in the vicinity of vicinity of a Benini motor so I'm a little nervous now about that all right what was it point oh I forgot I'll have to see it when I come back but 1.569 I must have, I think it was 1.564 it is absolutely charging now I'm going to short that lead out I'm going to take another lead Okay, and in front of you, just a, uh, a lead. I'm going to short that out real quick. And then the voltage comes up really fast, really amazingly fast. All right, I'm going to snap that watch. Boom, all the way down. Look at that thing come up. Now I'm just taking my lead off. There's my lead removed. The only thing on here is my voltmeter. All right, it's coming up very, very rapid. I'm going to disconnect. There's nothing on there. Nothing touching, it's just a capacitor sitting on the table. Nothing nothing weird, nothing underneath. Just uh, a capacitor sitting here. I'm gonna drop, set down my, my test lead out of my way. Just a capacitor, nothing connected at all. All right, I'm gonna put my negative, was that the negative? Positive lead back on to my meter. And we'll check the voltage. It's going to be increased. It's absolutely going up. 0.22, and it's going up fast. 0.228. It's absolutely rising in voltage. And that is really interesting. It's something I have only recently read about in an old uh, technical manual and decided to experiment with. I set it up here on the table. I did not at all expect it to be charging sitting three feet away. No, I thought I'd have to hold it up closer. We still have an increasing voltage. Not super, super fast, but it's increasing. So, uh, 0.359, I'm gonna remove that lead. Let that sit a while. My lead fell on the ground, that's fine. I definitely have to set up some kind of a way to hold things better on the table if I'm gonna run experiments like that. But, I disconnected my lead, and that will be charging seemingly out of thin air. I know a uh, capacitor does have a, uh, I forgot what it's called, there's an effect, electric effect, I think it's called the electric effect, where if you short a capacitor out quickly, remove the, the short, or short it across the battery, whatever, Discharge your capacitor rapidly, quickly remove the leads. It will regain some of its charge seemingly out of thin air. That's the electric effect. Electric effect. Blah, I cannot say that. Anyway, it's a known effect. But where is this coming from? Now we're up to 0.38889 and still rising. Um, interesting. Uh, some of you guys might have an idea. Maybe there's something in here that is affecting it. I have a fluorescent, not a fluorescent, I have an LED lamp. Oh, four and a half feet above, maybe, yeah, about four, four and a half feet away. I do have my Bedini motor about three feet away, running and charging some batteries. Um, again, some of it is the electrode effect coming out, uh, this, just the weird effect of a capacitor regaining some of its energy. But I'm going to let this run a while. I'm going to dig around, isolate my wires with some tape so I don't accidentally short them out. And I will be back. I want to wait for this to go up to about one and a half volts. And I'm curious if I can snap that across a old 
double-A battery. So we'll be back in a little bit. Okay, I've got a li little bit more organized. My capacitor here is at 1.443. It's been charging for uh, a couple hours. I've got a little capacitor here. I just plugged into this little board so it's convenient. Um, he's at 0.751. This little one is charging very, very, very slowly. Um, let me see, I think it was at 0.7. Let me look at my notes here. Uh, 0.747. So it, it's going up very slow, the little one. The bigger one is charging faster, um, but they are both charging. Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna leave the meter on here and see 1.443. Now I've got the negative of the battery. This is a, oh, I have another meter here. I want to set up another meter because I've got the negative of a battery connected to the negative of the capacitor already. So it's conveniently there. Now I got another meter that you can barely maybe see in the camera. I don't know if you can see that or not. Now, I want to measure the battery with this. I might have to, have to get some more alligator clamps up here. I'm going to leave this locked in to see the battery voltage. We are at 1.38 on the battery. I don't know if I can get that in there. Here we go. We're at 1.38 volts on the battery. What I'm going to do, and that's sitting at 1.443, that's really stable, pretty stable there. What I'm going to do is take um, the positive from the battery, sitting at 1.385, I'm going to pop it onto the capacitor which is at 1.442. My theory is the battery is going to go up maybe a tiny fraction, 1.3 eight five and the capacitor is going to jump to the voltage of the battery instantaneously boom 1.387 uh they went up a thousandth of a volt hardly anything uh, but that certainly came down now i'm going to take that off and let that recharge again until it gets higher maybe i'll wait until it gets even higher but it'd be interesting to see if by charging the capacitor higher than the battery repeatedly and then shorting it across the battery if I can charge that battery. So we'll come back in a while. I'm going to let this go up to maybe 1.5 or something. But it is charging. The capacitor is absolutely charging. So the capacitor is at 1.533 and the battery is at 1.3856 or 7. I'm going to dump the capacitor sharply and quickly into the battery. So 1.532 and it's going to go snap. Yep, I missed it. Snap. And 1.389, now it went up to 90. 1.3855, I don't think this is doing a thing. I'm going to have to check my video. 1.391, it's increasing again already. Now I know the quicker you dump your capacitor, the quicker it's going to recover some voltage out of seemingly out of thin air. Um, there it's going up, 1.392. So, 1.38, I don't know if it dumped, let me try it again. It's hard for me to watch everything at once. When I edit the video, I'll see everything better. Let me see if I can snap that in there. 1.392, 1.385. Oh yeah, 1.38, it did bring it down. one point three eight eight and that'll start rising again I have I'm not exactly sure where that's coming from but uh, pretty cool so I'm gonna shut things down in here for the night this has been going on for a few hours and I've zapped this a couple times but uh, 
I'm going to write down my voltages, shut everything down, and that'll be pretty much it for today for this video. But I wanted to share that with you. I thought it was really cool, really interesting. Now please do like this video and subscribe if you haven't. I'll be making videos again from now on occasionally um, as we find something cool here in the shop. Actually, I'll probably be doing an update on this here again pretty soon. So stay, stay tuned for it, watch for it, and I'll talk to you guys later.